Bad idea, dude. Okay, hold on. Hawaiian string throttle. Me and my brother. Okay, try it, Brandon. Wait, just do the throttle like. This is nope. deceiving because it doesn't. Do okay, that. okay. Try a wheelie. Come on! I'm filming. What well, small, small wheelie, small wheelie. See if it works. You help me out, then you want to kill me. No, no, no. <laughs> All right, yeah, okay. Don't try the wheelie. Never. I'm just kidding. Just get home safe. All right. Happy Friday. Um, I'm leaving for a bachelor party, bringing the pre bug here and my Duke with my buddy Ed. So I figured I'd make a quick video on something I've been needing to do on this bike. So on our uh, Bridge City ride, my throttle cable snapped. And this is how I rode home. Thank you, Hawaiian Ryan. Luckily, a buddy had some rope and a knife. Why he carries a rope and a knife on a scooter, I'm not too sure, but it worked out really well. Um, so for some reason, this I keep breaking throttle cables with this guy. So, and again, I'm really hard on it riding wheelies all the time, so it's on, off, on, off, constant. So I'm gonna pull this all apart and take a peek at it, but the, what I'm gonna do on this video is just show you guys the um, the different types of throttle cables, the different ends, different fittings, and, and if you're gonna do a cable on your bike, what style you need. If you're doing a custom setup, like, you know, Carter does something custom on his Vino, you do a carb setup on your Grom, um, or you do something totally custom like this, where this was a fuel injected bike, so it had a push-pull style, and now it has two carbs. So this is a single into um, a double. Just kind of show you guys the basics. This is very, very simple stuff, um, but it uh, should help you guys if you're doing some custom, uh, custom work and or need to replace your cable. Always watch out for people and help them out when you can. Um, but he hooked me up with this guy, and then they actually tried to t get me to ride a wheelie that way too. So they helped me out, and then they tried to kill me. So um, thank you, Ryan, you guys saved the day, and then they offered to ride back with me too. Super, super cool dudes. Um, anyways, uh, thank you, you saved the day. Let's first talk about what your most what most fuel injected bikes are going to be like most of them are going to be a push pull style cable um, like this so if you have a fuel injected bike you're going to need a very specific cable set that you're going to have to get at the dealer most likely so they do make a, a single style as well but most of fuel injected factory bikes are going to be like this so you've got one style it's a push pull setup so very common and there's a spring located on your um your throttle body um, as well. So the Bug Eye Zumas also come factored with a push pull. So if you have two cables like this you, and you want to replace them with those cables, that's going to be a dealer item. So same with this Grom, same way it's a push pull as well. So that's going to be your most common fuel injected bikes are going to be push pull for the throttle body um, as well. So your next style, let's go over, is going to be um, this guy. Say you do something custom, uh, Dio Swap Spree. Um, so he's just got a standard NCY needle bearing throttle, which is really nice. This is what I'm going to put on my Zuma. And this has a thread in, I just call this a PWK style. So this is just a thread in here. It's just a thread in and, it's, and then it's got a straight on the other end and I'll show you that style. This is what I call PWK. This is going to be what you're going to switch to. This is, this is probably the most common style you're going to see on custom bikes, ruckuses and whatnot. So this is the most common. These are, are really good cables. They're super cheap. Throttles are most common as well. Um, so that's going to be what I'm going to consider the PWK style. Uh, the next style is going to be like this guy here. So this is the Eton Beamer. <laughs> kind of hard to see, but this is basically the same style cable you're going to see on uh, Yamaha Zuma. Um, and, uh, and a lot of bikes as well. So this has no thread. It's kind of hard to see on this bike, but I'll show you. That style has no thread on one end. That's the same as a Motion Pro cable, which is this guy right here. So on the Eton Beamer, there's no threads. It has a screw that holds it in place, and that's what goes into the, uh, the throttle cam. So that's gonna be what you're gonna see on your Zumas, uh, as far as like this style Zuma, and a bug eye which you're having over there. Um, this is, well, I'm sorry, let me rephrase that. This is what's going to be a factory style on this bike, very similar from the factory. Bug Izuma is going to be a push-pull, which is going to be like that. But when you change your carb out 
um, on a Bug Eye Zuma, you change to this style cable. So Motion Pro is a cable specific for a Bug Eye. That being said, on a Bug Eye, if you change your twist throttle to something like this, an aftermarket NCY, um, or something that's on that spree, then you would run a different style cable. You would run a PWK cable, which has a threaded end. So when you're doing a custom combination, you need to look at one, your throttle tube, the throttle tube you're going to use, whether it's stock or aftermarket, and then you look at the carb you're gonna use because they all use different styles. So most common, this is gonna be the same style as Eton Beamer from the factory, same style where it's just got this, uh, this little holding tab here and it's not threaded, okay? That's one style. This style will not work in a, for instance, if you buy a Motion Pro cable, it's not gonna work in this style threaded PWK throttle tube. So you need to keep that in mind. Um, Chinese bikes, Chinese bikes um, are always gonna be, or 90% of the time, are not gonna be this type. The Chinese bikes are gonna use are gonna be the same as like what a ruckus would use, which is going to be this style. So the ruckus, the ruckus and the uh, um, Chinese bikes, four strokes, are, a lot of them are gonna use this thread and style, which is the same. So this is, this is actually an NCY throttle cable for a ruckus, which the end here is gonna be the same as a PWK. So if you have, if you've got a ruckus and you wanna put a PWK on it and you have your stock cable, guess what? It's not gonna work because the four stroke GY6 and the Ruckus use the same style throttle cable. It's threaded on both ends. That's why I said you have to make sure you're looking at what you're doing if you're doing a custom cable. This is gonna be your four stroke style Chinese Tao Tao. Your, if you got a scooter that's called the ZYBX slash Turbo 412 Chrome Edition that's just whatever the Zhang Chao factory wanted to put on the side that day, this is gonna be the cable that you're gonna use, which is gonna be the threaded on one end, threaded on the other. And it's gonna fit a carburetor like this. Okay, so this section here goes in here, the throttle cable wraps around, and it pulls this cam back and forth. So if you have a carb like this on your bike, if you look at it, it's this big funky thing, it's got a cap on the top, um, you're gonna need a cable that has this on the end. So this is probably one of the most common cables on, on scooters out there is, is this guy. So Chinese bikes, Ruckuses, GY6s, if you're using the factory carbs, this is gonna be a style cable you're gonna use. Um, keep in mind, if you change out your throttle tube, which is this guy, to a different style, you need to change, your, you need to change the cable or choose a throttle tube that matches this end if you have a Ruckus or, or a GY6 bike. So. Hopefully that makes sense on the GY6 style bikes. Like if I took this bike and I wanted to put a throttle tube like this on it, I would be able to do that because these use a threaded throttle tube to begin with. So I could pop an NCY on there um, and it would, it, I could pop an NCY throttle tube on there and it would essentially work with that cable. Or on hindsight, if I wanted to take this carb off and put on a PW or a, a PWK style carburetor um, or a D slide carburetor, a carb that has a slide, that cable would not work because the end on that bike is this end, and the end that you want on that bike is going to look something like like this. So swapping carbs and swapping parts, you need to look at both ends to make sure it's gonna work. This is gonna be your aftermarket throttle tube. You're gonna see NCY is um, uh, one of the most common brands. Be aware there are some super, super knockoff brands out there. Um, I wouldn't buy them. They've, I've heard, just heard this weekend, um, guys have had burrs and whatnot in here and had to clean them all up. This throttle cable, let's just put this thing together, okay? So if you're changing out your throttle tube, you wanna do an NCY or something like that, first off, like we've gone over, make sure you have all the right parts and the right style cables. So this is all gonna be on the bike. You can take it all off, however you wanna do it, doesn't matter, whatever is easier for you. So this guy's gonna thread in like so. What's nice about these throttle tubes is you have different positions. Um, so if your carb has less pull or more pull, or you wanna take out the slack, it's nice um, for that option. So. They're really nice throttles. They twist really nice. Um, they feel good. So the way this guy is going to go in, what I would suggest doing first is um, when I do these, I typically install the um, throttle tube end first 
and then I installed this end because the throttle tube has no spring on it. If you install your carb end first, if you install the carb end first and your carb is always gonna have a spring in it, it's gonna wanna be pulling like this and it's gonna make it really hard. You're gonna try to pull this up to get it in. None of this is hard, this is all easy, but just trying to offer tips. When you have this end on the carb, it's gonna be pulled it's gonna be pulled tighter and you're gonna to have to try to pull this up, which again, it's not difficult at all. It's very easy, but just kind of give you a heads up on how that works. So what you're gonna do, it's really simple. You're gonna take this guy, you're gonna line it up, whichever slot ends up working for your specific bike. Sometimes they're a little tight. You're gonna take that, you're gonna roll it over like so, and it's gonna land right in here like this. So this is where your different positions are gonna come into play if you uh, if you have less pull or more pull on your bike. So this is not the needle bearing throttle. The needle bearing actually has needle bearings all inside this tube and I'm gonna install it on my own bike. You just take this screw, move it to the other side and it has an adjuster nut and you can adjust how, how far up and down that is. What that's gonna do is push on this, causing the cam to, cam to roll this way, which is gonna eat up that slack. Once I put in my new cable, I'll move this down a little bit further. That way the throttle cam is further in, not putting extra stress right here. Cause my guess is when I'm riding wheelies, it's probably like this. It's probably doing that type of thing where it should be like this, right? Cause if it's turning on that angle there, it's gonna be really hard on, it's gonna be really hard on that cable. So once you get this all together, you know, this is on the bars, this is on the, th the, the bars as well. You just take this guy, put the cap on it. Turn it around. So, you're gonna put on, tighten your screws down, and you're done. So once you get this end all wrapped up, then you work on the other end on your carb. This is a, a Pliny CP, super common, super common uh, carburetor. We sell a ton of them, and they're probably um, one of the best carburetors we've ran across. So, uh, really, really good carburetors, made in Italy. They make them in a 17, <clears throat> 17, 19, 21, 23, and 24. This is the, the, the round slide, and that's why it's called a round slide, because the slide is round, very simple. Um, anyways, so you have a little adjuster in here as well. This will kind of take up slack if you need, but this guy fits in just like so. You pass the rubber boot, so you've got this slack here. What you're gonna do first, or how I do it, take note in the direction. If you have a, a lot of these clips are gonna be white, take note in how that sits. So. What I typically do, everybody's gonna do it a different way. You may laugh at me, um, or you may think that's genius. It's, it's probably neither, neither nor, neither or. But um, so I just hold it down with my finger, just like that. I take the needle. Typically do this first, of course, with the needle. But you see in the slide, it's got that cut out there. That's for this cable to fit into and click over. So. What you're gonna to wanna to do first is take the cap, okay, whether it be white or black or whatever color, it's gonna go in a very specific way. So that cap fits like that on the CP, push it all the way down with my thumb, take it, go right in this hole right here, slide it over, a sec here maybe if I'm not blind, there we go. So it's over and in and then the cap just drops right down, clicks in place. So another thing to keep in mind, look, your slide goes in one way. This is really common. People will jam these things in um, and they won't fit properly. Okay, so as you can see, you've got all this slack here, right? I went ahead and turned this screw all the way back out and adjusted this, this section all the way back in to give myself maximum slack. Very simple, take this guy, move it in the next spot like so. Make sure it rolls down in there nice and easy. So there, still got a pretty good amount of slack. So I'm gonna take this screw and adjust it in to see how much slack I can get rid of there. It's getting tighter. It's about, that's about where I want it. So you don't want it to, you always want some amount of slack because um, you don't want your, if you have this too tight, and it's always pulling a little bit, then your idle is gonna be dependent on this. If you're adjusting your idle speed with this, then your throttle cable's too tight. You want your idle speed to be set by the stopper screw on the slide on the carburetor, not by this. And if you have a GY6 carb, um, it's gonna be a little bit different, of course, but for the slide, D slides, OKO, key in, Makuni, you wanna adjust it with the, the screw on the carb, and I'll show you that in a minute. So that feels pretty good to me. Travels nice and smooth, snaps back, so I'm gonna go ahead and button this up. I've got the 
um, everything installed on the pre-bug. But what I want to talk about was this other uh, other little thing that I kind of briefly went over. So of course, you know, your throat, your carb is responsible for letting air and fuel in. The more this slide opens up, the more fuel that comes in. When this needle comes up, it lets more fuel out through the main jet into the carb. So or into the engine, I should say. So if you look down here, I've had people say, oh, I put my carb in together and now the throttle's wide open. Um, it's uh, revving to the moon. So what you have to look at is on the bottom side, you have one locating pin there. The top side, you have your screw that goes through the other side. That screw just your idle speed. Here, you have a gap here and you have a line that goes all the way up. And clearly the line that goes all the way up is gonna go on this side. So if you take this and you install it the wrong way, sideways like that, or you install it like this, it goes down just a little bit, right? Because you, because that tab is gonna stop you from going all the way down. So you install it like this, put everything together, guess what? Your wide open throttle. So this is gonna be a theory on just about all carbs, okay? So you have to make sure, this is, again, this is super elementary basic stuff, but you have to make sure the side that has the long groove needs to go down here like so, it doesn't force, it just falls. Maybe, 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 where is it? What's going on here? Right there, okay. So it just falls all the way down there, moves nice and free. The other thing I was saying is you want to use this screw, if you have a PWK or a D-slide style carb, if you have a GY6 or whatever, it's gonna be different. This is what you wanna adjust your idle with. As you turn it in, it makes that slide go up letting more air and fuel in as it goes down, lets it go down. This is what you want to adjust your idle with. You want your idle to be adjusted with this here, not with your cable. So if you're adjusting your idle with your cable, that means that this isn't resting on this screw here. So if you turn your bars too hard one way, whatever happens, your cable gets snagged or pulled or pinched, it could cause this slide to come up or stick open or whatever. For example, my wife laid down the Baja last weekend because the throttle cable stuck. It's all OEM, don't know why, don't know yet, but that's how things happen and they can happen really fast. So again, this is what you use to adjust your idle speed. As you turn it in, it goes up, okay? So you don't wanna rely on your cable slack. You wanna rely on this for your idle speed. So hopefully that helps you guys understand cables and kind of how this stuff goes together um, and uh, get a better idea for an understanding on this stuff. So simple, basic, but just kind of a brief description on cables, how they go into the carbs and how to adjust your idle. So hopefully that helps you guys have questions, post up comments and uh, like the videos and we'll make some more. Thanks guys.